Hi guys, how are you? This evening I'm going to show you some of our favourite dishes. So it's Friday night here and the kids have just both got their Halloween holidays and we're going to have treat night. One of our favourite treat nights is pizza and chips. So I like to make a homemade spin on it and if you've been following my page you'll see last week I done a sourdough discard pizza dough and uh, we decided we'd have it again tonight. So we're going to have it with some homemade wedges and I'm going to show you how I make those. We like them nice and crunchy, full of flavour, and really, really golden and crispy. So I just have some standard roosters here, um, seven or eight medium potatoes, medium to small really. I like to use them small because I like lots of skin on them. The skin gets really, really crispy. Uh, so just wash them, and they don't have to be exact. Just roughly cut them into wedges. To that, I'm going to be using the garlic oil. So just over a tablespoon maybe that and I'm going to mix it with the chili oil. Maybe a table and a half a tablespoon and a half each. So you get the hands in to give it a good mix around to make sure everything gets coated. And you can just kind of stand them up on their ends maybe skin side down because you really want that skin to get really nice and crispy. These are a big 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 favourite in our house and um, the seasoning changes quite a bit I always tend to use the oils you need some fats on them they won't go crispy otherwise there we go so to that I have here some grated garlic a couple of cloves I'm just gonna move that all over and massage that in as well We love them. Big favourite in the house. They don't have to be all skin side down. You can have some skin side up. You are going to take these out midway through roasting and give them a wee move around. So like I said, you can have loads of different seasonings. We like them crunchy and crispy. In here I have a mix of semolina, dried chilli flakes, some garlic granules, salt and black pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle that all over and be really generous because this is going to give them a lovely 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 crunchy coating. I'll have all these quantities up in the bio at some point might be an edit. Okay that's those done. Just going to give them a sprinkle of paprika because I really want to carry through that nice bit of heat from the chili oil as well as the garlic. Sweet and smoky just a little all around into the oven with those at 200, 35 to 40 minutes, they'll be done. Just gonna set my timer. Now, tonight we're also having sourdough pizza. I've got uh, two pizza bases resting there. They're ready to go. They're from the discard earlier from when I fed my starter. And with that, I would like to have maybe a pesto, but I don't have one with me this evening and I wasn't into the fuss of just making a pesto. I have no pine nuts anyways, or substitute. So what I'm gonna do instead is I have just a nice small handful of fresh basil, stalks and leaves, and a nice small handful as well of some flat leaf parsley, roughly chopped. I'm gonna pop that in here. I'm gonna give it a couple of tablespoons just a plain rapeseed oil, nice big sprinkle of salt, I'm still using my Irish Atlantic sea salt, I love this one as well, and I'm going to get a tiny tiny little bit of black pepper, I'm going to bring it all together, it's quite noisy, I just want to release the flavour from those leaves, together nicely now the leaves are pounded. in. Just give it a little taste. That's lovely. It's a lovely kick from the basil on that. It's exactly what I want. I'll just gather that up and I'm just going to use it just to drizzle over the pizzas when they're done. And lastly we're going to have a little bit of green salad just to 
balance the scales. So it's going to be very basic. We've got a jam jar here with a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. To that, I'm going to add maybe half a clove of garlic. I just want to carry a similar flavor through all of the meal. I also have the juice of a freshly squeezed lemon. It's roughly a tablespoon in that. And to that, I'm going to use the lemon oil. I'm going to put in three tablespoons of that, so it's three parts oil to one part acid. Nice little pinch of salt. Bit of black pepper. Very simple to do these dressings. Stick your lid on and give it a shake until it emulsifies. It won't take long when you have the jam jar. And it's really, really handy. It's not very fiddly trying to be using small whisks and big jugs and all that crack. Here we go. Just going to give it another little bit. Now to this you could also add some little thyme leaves if you wish. You could have it if you're having it with some roast chicken. Okay, I'm going to have a taste. Might add some honey. That's lovely and sharp. So I'm going to put in just maybe, I'd say half a teaspoon of some lemon zest. Which would equate to roughly half of the lemon, the half that I squeezed, I zested it first. Now, I'm just gonna put in half a teaspoon of some lovely fresh local honey in there. I just want a little bit of sweetness with the heat that we're gonna have in the wedges. Shake it up again. Let me see. That's really good, that's ready to go. If I don't use all of it, it's going to store really nicely in the fridge and I can use that over the next day or so when I'm having salad again. Now, we're in lockdown. We mightn't be able to get out to where we usually would. So if you can't get to your normal supply shops to get your oils and your range of oils, like I have, you can actually shop direct with Donegal Rapeseed. They do free delivery over 20 euro to anywhere in Ireland. And it's awful easy to spend your 20 euro and you get a fantastic range that will keep you going for a long time. What I got was the classic case which had the lemon, chilli, garlic and plain oil in a 250ml size. They all came boxed together. And I also bought an extra bottle of 500ml of the plain oil. That's the one I would use the most. That came to just under 22 euros so I had free delivery all my oil delivered straight to the door and I had the full range and it's Irish this is farmed and pressed in Donegal so it's lovely to support our own it's great oils I use them across the board if you need other ideas just go through my page as I said earlier I think I use it every single day for some reason or another so that's it I just wanted to bring to you one of my favourite products that I get a lot of use out of and uh, one that you can get to your door no problem as well nice and easily at the minute as I said free delivery on orders over 20 quid. If you're home and you have a bit more time to be cooking and baking give it a lash. I can attest to the lemon one being amazing in lemon cake and lemon muffins. You want to check that out as well so they're really great for bakes as well. I would also use the rapeseed oil when I'm doing breads if I'm doing sort of cake or maybe sometimes a little sourdough even oil in the bowl for the bread when it's rising or proofing you want to use a little bit of oil and you want something that's going to taste nice because there is a transference onto the finished baked good so you do want something nice it's lovely and mellow it's nice and rich and for the health conscious they're actually low lower in saturated fats than the regular olive oil so buy irish be healthier get it to your door it's free delivery thank you